Hi, welcome to another video. This one's a story of how an A-bit old uh, computer, Pentium 3 processor, can potentially cost you £26,000. Right, so I, I worked for a company back in 2008. Uh, used to fix a lot of their equipment, work for them. I was given their PC, or some of their, their service manager contacted me uh, a few days ago said they've got an old PC uh, it's got the Pentium 3 socket 1 processor uh, this one's running about 520 megs they said can you fix it and I thought it's an old PC just get rid of it buy a new one uh, now I haven't got the actual PC because I boxed it all up didn't want to ruin it um, the PC was dead uh, but the PC unfortunately ran uh, a sort of 26 30,000 pound brake tester uh, made by Tikalamit. Uh, it's actually the uh, Tikalamit's DE5000 brake tester. So I'm showing you this old motherboard uh, and specifically these DC to DC voltage converters uh, because that's what had failed on this old PC. An engineer went to um, the company, had a look at the brake tester, PC was dead, wrote it off because it's old technology, not running Windows 7 or 95 or anything like that. Uh, it was just running like uh, something similar to Linux software on a small IDE drive. They wrote it off, said, no, there's new new brake testers available, uh, can't fix the old ones anymore, that's it. Spend £26,000 on a new one. So I thought I'd do this video and show you, A, don't believe the engineers, don't just throw something away and shell out £26,000, have a look, find somebody who's familiar with, or semi-familiar with computers, uh, and have a look at it. So, on this old motherboard, we've got two DC to DC converters down here, and one over the far corner. I'll just focus you in there. I'm surprised they were there, because I figured with a conventional ATX power supply, you've got all the three volts, five volts, 12, minus, tw uh, minus five, minus 12, etc. I figured all the voltage you've done in the power supply, but I was wrong. Have a look at this, I'll put the scope on it. I'll just zoom you out. You have to forgive why dodgy scope. Something's damaged the polarizer on the screen. I've actually been on to DigiMess and they can't help me, so I've got to get a new one. I won't be buying a Digimess. The advantage with this scope is uh, it's uh, run on battery or main, so I can connect the earth probe without fear of earthing the mains or earthing the neutral. Anyway, so I'm hooked onto one of, that, uh, one of these coils. You see that inductor down there. And that's what we've got. We've got uh, one of the little MOSFETs, they're all 60 volt MOSFETs. This one's switching at 197 kilohertz. We've got 7 volts peak to peak. Look, I've stored that. Yeah, 7 volts peak to peak, you'll see down the bottom. So 7 volts peak to peak, roughly 50% mark space ratio. And I think we've got something like this one we've got two volts out so presumably that runs to the processor uh, something like that I've no idea of knowing to that uh, PCs that that much but so we've got as I say two DC to DC converters down here one over the far corner just a, a MOSFET being switched presumably by the processor just to control different supply rails I'll show you in a picture. I had four bulging capacitors on one of these coils. Presumably the caps were starting to go short circuit and one of these inductors burnt out. Uh, as I said, now the important thing with these old PCs, if you're not familiar with the architecture, this old one, I'll get some light on it, this uh, I mean, demonstration board is actually in a Zeus, but the A-bit board had two ISA connectors, 
So these International Standard Architecture, ISA, PCI, and then for the, the old video card, this is a, an AGP. Uh, anyway, the A-bit board had two of these, which was necessary for the brake tester. Again, I'll show you the pictures of the boards that fit in. Uh, then your standard floppy drive for, for the newbies who aren't familiar with floppy drives. And two IDE, primary master IDE. Uh, and then the conventional SD RAM slots. There's the other regulator, DC to DC controller up there. Uh, and that's the Intel Pentium 3 socket 1 processor. Right, I'll show you the pictures. So don't believe the engineers, if you write off a PC, strip it down, have a quick look. I managed to rewire one of these coils, a small wire, and I've got a working system. So this is obviously just this motherboard, no hard drive, everything disconnected, and it boots up. Uh, I've run through some of the pictures and the working brake tester program. Right, so now you've seen the pictures, uh, have a dabble, measure all the supply rails on the uh, power supply, look on the side of the power supply, tell you what colours are what uh, voltage. Um, you can obviously swap various bits about the PC I was working on, needing a new video card as well. But uh, yes, have an engineer, write off your PC and it's used on an expensive piece of equipment, don't believe it. Strip it down and have a look for yourself. Thank you very much.